The needle that I was talking about before for my basket project was called a tapestry needle, and it is a needle that is blunt on the end. It will not hurt you. And it has a very large 18, it's called the size 18. It has a large eye hole that would be able to, to get you to where you could take the string and thread it easily. I do the floop, pass it through, and I can now, what I did now is I stuck the needle through here and came out the other side. So now I start bringing it through the side and I'll, I'll do that again in this demonstration. So, and any strings that are hanging out, you can always grab them later. So now what I'm doing, I'm continuing with the, uh, the God's eye and I can leave the needle off to the side. I actually don't need it. I can fully unthread the needle and I'm gonna continue with my pattern. The God's eye just keeps getting layered more and more as you work around the perimeter of your popsicle sticks or whatever you've chosen to use. I um, have made very large ones. As I said, you can go to Home Depot and you can get wooden dowels that you would use for a home project and you can use those to do your God's eye. Popsicle sticks. I have used a bunch of pencils before. Um, this has caused me, the pandemic has caused me to come and think of alternate ways to do things. So, continuing my pattern, and now the opening of my God's eye has gotten smaller and more intricate looking based on the colors I chose, sort of working with kind of warm colors. So I wanna show you what I did with the needle. So I have it still threaded on the end there. And I come to the back. And now to get rid of this string, I'm gonna tuck it right through here. And I'm going to pass it through like this and give it a good tug. I have my scissors nearby, so I'm gonna trim that. And now I'm gonna go back to the red so that you can see what I have going on here. And I think some people like to use a really, really long piece of string. I go with what I call the wingspan, your wingspan. So I don't, I don't tend to use too much. Now I'm gonna, I would say as long as both of your arms, I'm just gonna throw, thread this through and I'm just pulling it back so that it's tucked under, it's secure, but it's, you know, again, there's no knots or anything. It's just sitting in there. All right. And now we continue. And the nice thing about this project also is that because there's no knots, if you had made a quote mistake, you can always undo it and do another one. Sorry, as I am talking, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Not a professional YouTuber. Every now and then, I find that I like to go around the popsicle stick a little extra. There's lots of different videos on how to do this, but <laughs> this is my video. So this is the way that I approach it. And the main thing that I find is really important across the board with however you make these is that your strings should lay flat and not on top of each other. So I think conceptually the best thing to do now would be to go back to orange because the center of my God's eye is orange. And some people would say there's a certain place to stop how much of the wooden dowel that you would let show. But I think that's really up to you. I've had kids make them and go right to the edge. Okay, right, right, right to the edge. So I'll just do a little bit more. All right, so now I have orange. I'm getting closer to the edges of my God's eye. And it was called the God's eye because it's like the Malocchio in Italian. And like many other religions, um, the Hamsa has an eye on it in both Judaism and the Muslim religion. And it's actually watching out and protecting you. 
looking out for you. So it's kind of a lucky thing to have in your home. And it's even more fun to make. So I'm gonna call my God's Eye finished right here. So the last thing I'm gonna do one more time is just take this string. And now I'm just using actually the eye of my needle. I'm just gonna stick that down in there until it's pressed in enough. And you know, if I wanted, maybe for a little accent, obviously I could trim this too. I might go back in with a little bit of black, maybe blue for complementary color, but otherwise I'm pretty pleased. Have fun.